Hello and welcome to All Saints Temple Virtual Worship. Happy Sunday, everyone. We are so glad to have you here with us. At this time, we're going to say a prayer. Kind Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you, O oh God, for all those that are tuning in on this Sunday, O oh God. We ask Lord, that you touch them in a special way, O oh God, touch their lives, O oh God. We ask that this word plant a seed for someone, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, change a life today. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we ask that you heal, set free, and deliver. We love you today, O oh God. We trust you in the name of Jesus. As we pray, amen. Well, happy Sunday. Welcome to All Saints Temple Virtual Worship. We are so glad that you've joined in with us. At this time, we want to sing a praise and worship song called, Well, I Won't Go Back.
selection, I won't go back. If you would like to be a blessing to the All Saints ministry, there is Givelify. Download the Givelify app to your device, search for All Saints Temple, and on our page, you can forward your offering and your tithe to the ministry. I want to share a word with you, and if you would, just pray with me briefly. Our God of Fathers, through you we move and we have our being as we approach your word is our prayer. We're able to glean the true intent of the scripture according to your will. Therefore, we are empowered to be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. This we pray in your son Jesus' name. Thank God, amen, and amen. Just wanted to share this meditation with you. In the gospel according uh, to St. Matthew, chapter 14, verses 22 through 33, there is a story, a story of Jesus walking on the water, approaching the disciples. It's late at night, and they see him walking, and some think it's even a ghost. Of course, Jesus says, take courage, it is I. Therefore, Peter has the desire to walk on the water and approach Jesus. Jesus beckons him to come. He's walking on the water. However, Peter, his attention is distracted by the waves and the wind that is around him. Of course, he cries out to Jesus. Jesus captures him and pulls him up. We're living in a world now there are so many distractions. There's so many things that compete for our attention. There's television, there's entertainment, there's the news and all of its salacious stories. There's even, we're living in uncertain times. All these things can capture our attention. And then you couple that with fear. Like Peter was afraid and he took his eyes off of Jesus. And so I want to encourage you today, maintain your focus on Jesus. Yes, maintain your focus on Jesus. We go back to the scripture, as long as Peter kept his eyes on Jesus, he was able to walk on the water. He was able to counter the laws of nature because his focus is on Jesus. If we maintain our focus on the Lord in a time of great distractions, a time of great uncertainty, some even say that a recession is on the horizon, we're struggling with inflation. We're struggling with keeping food on the table. All these things can cause us to lose our focus off of Jesus. But I want to tell you, be encouraged, be of good cheer. Peter was walking on the water in the midst of a storm. And so if you keep your eyes, if you focus in on the Lord Jesus Christ, you will be able to navigate the storm. You will be able to counter the forces of this world because it is through him we move and that we have our being. The Bible, Jesus says, I come 
that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. So let us endeavor to keep our focus on Jesus. There's a song, there's a song I fell in love with during my seminary years. And the late Bishop Lauren Mann would sing this song in worship. The song is, look and live, my brother live. Look to Jesus Christ and live. Tis recorded in his word, alleluia. Look to Jesus and live. So I want to encourage you, continue to look to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and let us live. Well, I pray that you were blessed by that, and maybe you would like to accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. Well, I'll tell you, it's a very simple, very easy effort. All you need to do is pray a simple load of prayer, and the Lord will accept you, will forgive you of all your sins. Pray this prayer with me. Lord, I believe that you are the son of the living God. I believe that you died on the cross for my sins. And I believe that God the Father raised you from the grave. Forgive me of all my sins. I want to focus on you and navigate these trying times. This I pray in your son Jesus' name. Thank God. Amen and amen. Yes, through focusing in on Jesus the Christ, you will be able to walk and transcend the uncertain times in which we live in. Blessings to you.